Hello again. In this video, I will demonstrate how to convert an EV8000 project to an Easy Builder Pro project. So, let's get started. I have created a, a, a test project in the EV8000 project, as you can see right here. So, uh, for Easy Builder Pro to convert the project, we need to go ahead and open this up and make a compressed project file. And so we just open it up and go to Tools and select Compress Uncompressed. And of course we want to compress. Uh, we It automatically populated with the, this file that we've got. And uh, we're going to place it in the same uh, register and it will actually have the same file name. So we want to go ahead and click compressing. And as you can see it's finished. So we can go ahead and exit out of that. And uh, we're done with the uh, Easy Builder 8000, so we can go ahead and close it out. Now you can see uh, in our file here, uh, we've created this uh, compressed project file. So uh, at this point, uh, we want to go ahead and open an instance of Easy Builder Pro. Now, uh, when you start out, you uh, have this uh, dialog right here, and uh, you can go straight into uh, uncompress here, and uh, we we'll go to our file here that we just created. Press file, click open. Uh, we can rename it something different here, so. Uh, just call this to EV Pro and uh, click on compressing. Uh, now, in this case, uh, it's really all the same libraries because I created it, I compressed it, uh, and so on and so forth. And depending on your library situation, uh, you may or may not want to replace them. Uh, I'm going to just say, well, it doesn't matter. I could say yes or no to all. wouldn't make any difference. So now you can see we're finished. So I'll exit out of this. I'll go ahead and uh, select open existing file, click OK, and um, actually right here in the register, if I wasn't, you could drill down to it. So we go ahead and select the project we just converted, and there it is. Now, uh, by default, the system parameter um, dialog is open and in this case Easy Builder Pro selected the closest model to the original project. Um, if we wanted to select a different model we could or we could uh, you know or if the EMT 7030 is the one we wanted we just keep it. Click OK now this gives us an option to change or resize the keypads and the pop-up windows and objects and whatnot. Uh, so we want to go ahead and click OK. And here is the project that we uh, converted. It's just that simple. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, save it. And uh, we'll compile it. It's 
successfully. And we'll go ahead and run an offline simulation. Test our project. Buttons work. And there you have it. Thank you for watching and be sure to come back and watch more of our instructional videos.